Hey guys, Last Adventure here, talking about one of the most remote destinations on North America, Surprise Canyon. Surprise Canyon is a trail located right outside Death Valley National Park. If you're going to go there, you need to take the proper precautions. This is a remote area of California, not too much cell service, not too much GPS service, hardly any facilities. You need to make sure you have proper food and water for your car as temperatures regularly exceed 100 degrees, even in the winter time. If you're going, you're going to follow the 178 out of Ridgecrest down through Trona. Do stop and look at the Trona Pinnacles, beautiful formations, and then you're gonna go into the Searles Valley. The town you're going to go through is Ballarat, should be noted that Ballarat is less a town and more of what they call a free zone. Anyone can do what they want there. Not really any facilities, no gas, nobody there. Having said that, once you get through Ballarat, you're going to, in essence, four wheel up into Surprise Canyon. Important to note, you do need four wheel drive. This is a remote area. This is a road that is a four wheel drive road only. Do not take a two wheel drive car up there. You will get stuck. There is not many people out there. It may be a long time before you are rescued. From the top of the road, you're gonna be at Chris Wick Camp. If you don't wanna hike, this is a great area just to hang out and explore with lots of mining runes. The reason Surprise Canyon is famous is because two things. Number one, off-roading, which we'll talk about in a minute. Number two, leads up to Panamint City, a ghost town founded in 1874 by some of the rootinest, tootinest, bad bandits that ever walked the face of the earth, but then founded a silver mine. Today, the ghost town is a ruin, the smelter and large chimney remains. So, from the Chris Wicked camp, the trail heads up. This is the other area you gotta be cautious, guys. There really is no trail. This is a used trail. You will be covering terrain that is rugged in the middle of nowhere. It's about five miles one way to Panamint City and five miles back. This is rugged terrain. If you're not comfortable ascending rugged terrain, bushwhacking, climbing over waterfalls. Oh wait, did I mention waterfalls? The first portion of the hike is covered in water. There's a series of cascading falls. You will most likely get wet depending on the time of year. Not something you would expect in Death Valley. If any of this sounds like it's not your bag, then this is not the hike for you. Having said that, if you're willing to take some risks, know the terrain, have the experience, this is a great hike. Let's take a look at it, see some of Panamint City, and see what one of the best hikes in North America has to offer. Come on, let's go.
Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Really great terrain. Hope you enjoyed watching all of it. Side note, as someone who edits a lot of these videos, you have a lot of video footage. You see a lot of things in the videos you didn't notice before, and you get to relive what you experience. Fun fact, when I was editing the videos of Panamint City, I had three clips with really strange noises that I don't think I heard when I was there because I would have reacted differently. Now, could be one of many things, just equipment issues, however kind of strange it all happened at the same time. Or, hey look guys, Panamint City is a ghost town for a reason, it was one of the rootinest tootinest bad towns of the 1870s. So. If you go to Panamint City and you're in the cabins, you might be seeing some things that you did not expect. Best of luck, guys. Stay safe out there on the trail and enjoy Surprise Canyon. Thanks.